All right, we are pulling out of Illilicet Harbor and headed towards Disco Bay and the Illilicet Ice Fjord. It's crazy that this water doesn't freeze in the winter. And there's Illilicet. There's my hotel actually, right there on the shore. It's just spectacular. You can see how huge these icebergs are getting as we move closer towards the fjord. Getting pretty close to the ice now as we make our way into the mouth of the ice fjord. Pretty incredible. Really up close and personal to it now. So you can see that's where I was hiking earlier today. You see that ridge? You might recognize that from the hike. I came out right around there. So I was facing all of this right at the mouth of the ice fjord. As you can see, we are heading right into it now. So this should be pretty incredible. I'm gonna walk alongside here for a little bit. Spectacular icebergs though, it's incredible here. Wow, absolutely incredible. He's just knocking right through this. So cool. So I'm at the bow of the ship right now, and probably the best views are over here because he's kind of ramming into all the ice from here. You gotta be really, really skilled navigator though. I'm only like 20 minutes into this thing and how much we've seen so far is incredible. It's two and a half hours, so very cool. This actually exceeds my expectations, I would say. I thought it would be a lot less interesting, but we're getting way closer than I thought we would get to these icebergs, very cool. Whoa, okay. It's kind of unnerving when he starts hitting the ice though. It's amazing feat of engineering to build something that can withstand that kind of force. So beautiful. It's on, you can't even put it into words just how majestic this place is. And honestly, it's so accessible. If you can come up here, just find a way because it's out of this world. Far more beautiful than uh, my Alaska cruise when I was like 20. Wow, you can see just how blue that ice is. Just mountains of ice, it's crazy. Such a beautiful place. If you ever have a chance to come out here, it's not expensive to get to. You know, it's comparable to any ticket you'd buy anywhere, basically. The hotels are cheap, and this is probably the best time of the year to go. In some ways, everything is just so icy and winter is setting in. It's just so beautiful. It's exactly what I thought Greenland would be in my dreams. So very, very cool place. Wow, incredibly blue ice. You can see how far down into the water it goes as well. Only about a third of the iceberg is visible. It's pretty incredible how close they get to these. So it looks like we're stopping here, slowing down pretty significantly. Pretty incredible. You can see just how deep that one is under the surface. Wow. 
So again, this is the most active glacial ice field in the world, spitting out these massive icebergs into the ocean non-stop, 365 days a year. And these Greenlandic icebergs actually pretty well make their way down to Canada. So around the north coast of Newfoundland, by the Twillingate area, Trinity Bay, you can see tons of icebergs in the spring. So cool. It's getting chilly out here though. Just a mountain of ice, that one's huge. It's actually hard for me to get this in frame, it's so tall. Wow. This is just an incredible experience. It's really hard to put into words just how beautiful Disco Bay is. I've been to Glacier Bay, Alaska, and that's cool, but this is just on another level. So very cool place. Definitely see if you can come out to Greenland at some point because this beauty, this natural beauty is really unparalleled anywhere in the world, really. So you can see the sun is beginning to set at this point in the day. And it looks like we're coming to a stop and likely getting served a drink by the looks of it. All right, well, he just served this cocktail with apple juice, elderflower juice, and a Greenlandic gin, I guess, with some fresh glacier ice. So we'll see how this is. Oh, it's got like a basil or oregano kind of aftertaste. Interesting. We are headed back to Illicit. He is definitely picking up the speed too as he makes his way back towards the harbor. Very cool tour though. I'd highly recommend it if you're in the area, of course. I'm sure you would anyway. And the views really don't get old. This is one of those places you just continually photograph because it's just that beautiful. And there is Illicit right there in the distance. I'm gonna go get a coffee before it's too late and they're gonna pull into dock any second here, so. Whew. That is hot. All right, cheers, coffee with a view. And we are arriving back in Ilulisa now. I guess we gotta go to the staircase and then up to that exit deck here. Back on dry land, okay. All right, that was a lot of fun. Definitely worth the price, so check out that tour. This was Disco Line Explorer, I think. Would recommend.